Welcome to Map Party, people. Let's go ahead and get to it here. We have a problem about unit conversions that doesn't have to be as hard as you might think it is. And I'm going to show you a pretty quick way to do this. So first things first, read the question. Go ahead and give yourself the best opportunity there by going, hey, for how long was Christopher working on the task? Sounds good. So we're looking for some sort of time, right? And because this question is pretty short, we can just go straight to the information after that and see how we're going to figure out what time frame we're working under, right? Let's go for it. So here, the information we have, it says that Christopher began at 8.45 a.m. and ended at 12.05 p.m. Okay, so if, it's, if we're looking for how long Christopher was completing this task or working on it, then we know that we need to find the difference in those times. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, one easy way or straightforward way is to subtract the times, which might have you basically convert some hours into minutes. But another easy way, an easier way that I would say is counting up. Instead of subtracting to go the in-between, you can actually count up. What do I mean? Watch this, everybody. I can say that starting from 8.45 a.m., again, if I'm trying to get to that 12.05 p.m. eventually, here's how we can get there. Here's how we can get there. First of all, I'm gonna get as close to 12 o'clock as I can. So from 8.45, I can go to 9.45, 10.45, 11.45. I can jump to 11.45. 11.45 a.m. And what is that? Well, that's going to be three hours. That's exactly three hours from 8.45 to 11.45, three hours. So, so far, I've got that down. Let me write that down. And then from here, all i got to do is count in terms of minutes from 11.45 to 12.05 right over here. So with that said, what do we do? Well, I know I can get to 12 o'clock. And again, this is just a mental math technique. I can get to 12 o'clock by adding 15 minutes. And then I can get to 12.05 by adding another five minutes. It's that, that's it. Very simple. You can do all that in your head without writing any of this down. You can just get that done in your head. And so there it is. Three hours plus 15 minutes plus five minutes That'll give us three hours and 20 minutes. And yes, you can use that with bigger problems too. It doesn't really matter. You know, instead of borrowing and converting units, you can just use some mental math to get it done. So with the seven math party people, if you didn't know already, I am offering my entire full program, all the classes, 15,000 practice problems, and the ability to text me whenever you need help for free for a week, no credit card required. Go to that QR code right there, or go to that link. Text me when you're done, and let's taste the ASVAB.